Good day. My name is Jeff Basson. We're going to discuss over the next few videos the topic of counting principle, a very exciting topic in our grade 12 syllabus. This first lesson, I want to discuss with you the meaning of the counting principle. This is a, a mathematical topic which we use also to find probabilities. But let's start in the beginning. What is the counting principle? So let's go to the screen and read the following paragraph. If task one can be performed in N1 ways and task two can be performed in N2 ways, then the number of ways in which both task 1 and 2 can be performed is n1 times n2. This is very important to remember, that we always want to know how many ways we can perform a certain task or more than one task. The counting principle then say to know the total number of ways we then multiply each one of these tasks with one another. Let's now look at an example to illustrate this. Suppose a menu offers three possibilities for a starter, five possibilities for a main course, and four possibilities for a dessert. How many meal combinations are possible if you have to choose exactly one starter, one main course, and one dessert. Let's just look at this again. Starter, there are three possibilities. For a main course, there are five possibilities. And for a dessert, there are four possibilities. So it is quite clear that we have three tasks that we need to do. We represent these tasks with a little line. So task number one is to select a starter. As you can see, three possibilities for a starter. Task two is to select a main course. And there are five possibilities for a main course. And task three is to select a dessert. Remember, only one starter, one main course, and one dessert are supposed to be selected. So for desserts, four possibilities. Now, in terms of our counting principle, we know already that once we know how many ways each task can be performed, the total number of ways is then when we multiply how many ways each task can be performed. So in this example then, counting principle will say to us that three ways for task one, five ways for task two, four ways for task three, and we will multiply them for the total number of ways we can perform this. And for this particular example, that is now how many meal combinations there will be. And that gives us a total of 60 when we multiply this. It's a very exciting topic. So for our next lesson, we will take it one step further. Thank you.